Hello people, I want to show you a demonstration about inertia. I was inspired by Walter Lewin, who made a video on physicsworld.com. The video is called Walter Lewin Demonstrates Moments of Inertia. You can also find that uh, video on YouTube. And he demonstrates that when you roll down a solid uh, cylinder down a slope, it does not matter how big the diameter is, or how long the cylinder is, or what its weight is. Every solid cylinder will roll down at the same speed. So, let's try and compare some. So let's compare this roll to an iron roll. Of course, I want them to start at the same moment, and that's why I'm using this bar. One, two, three. Same speed. As you can see, it has a totally different different diameter, it has totally different length, and also totally different mass and den density. I'm gonna try some more. I have magnesium over here, I have aluminium, I have this PVC, and a shorter piece of iron. Same iron like the other one. It's gonna go quickly now. A shorter piece of iron, same speed, magnesium, same speed, PVC, plastic, same speed, aluminium, much smaller, same speed. So Walter Lewin was right, size doesn't matter as long as the cylinder is solid. They will roll down the slope at the same speed. But Walter Lewin also showed it does matter what shape that you have. This is solid, this is hollow. So Walter Lewin showed that a hollow cylinder will always go down slower than a solid one. Much slower. Here's another cylinder, PVC. Let's try. Much slower. And it doesn't matter what kind of massive roll I use, so I might as well use the iron one. It's still much slower. So it looks like Walter Lewin was right when he said all hollow cylinders will roll down slower down the slope than any solid cylinder. That's what I learned from Walter Lewin. But then something came to my mind. What if I have a cylinder that has the weight in the center, not on the outside, but in the middle? I didn't have such a thing, so I had to create one. I came up with this one. As you can see, in the center it has steel, which is heavy. At the outside it is wood, it's light, and it is a lot of air, also light. So now I would like to ask you, if I roll down these objects, down this slope, which one is going to be the fastest, which one is going to be the second, and which is going to be the slowest? And you have to know, the shape of these cylinders is almost the same. As you can see, same diameter, same diameter, same height, almost the same height. Height should not matter. And I can tell you, believe me, the weight is also the same. So you try to do an educated guess before I'm gonna show it to you. Take your time. I'm calling this one wheel axis because it's like a wheel and a very heavy axis. So you try to tell me which one's gonna roll down fastest, the hollow one or the wheel axis. So clearly the wheel axis was much faster than a hollow cylinder. This one is the slowest. But now there's gonna be a competition between solid and my wheel axis. Tell me. 
which one is going to be the fastest? Is it going to be the solid one or the wheel axis? Let's go. Wheel axis, much faster than the other one. So, wheel axis is clearly much faster than the solid one. Now, please try to explain. Why is that the fastest one? Why is the hollow one the slowest one? And if you don't know, ask your teacher. I'm not a teacher. That's his job. So now let's see if you really understood this topic. So I chose a few extra objects to run to roll down this slope. One of them is a, a solid marble. The other one is a hollow ball. And the third one is a ball filled with water. Hollow. Water inside. And now you try to guess where we end up. Slow, faster, fastest. So where are these objects going to be in this row? You tell me. Take an educated guess and I will show you. First, a solid ball. So, solid ball comes at least here. Now, solid ball again, solid cylinder. Difficult, difficult, but I would say solid ball was slightly faster than the solid cylinder. Now, roll it against and wheel axis. Clearly, wheel axis wins. Now the empty ball against empty cylinder. Empty ball wins. Not so very much. So I'm already quite sure it's going to lose from the cylinder. Clearly. Now a tricky one. A ball filled with water. You know, the water is not connected to the outside, so when the ball starts rolling, the water inside is not rolling immediately. So, will it be faster than a solid cylinder? Let's try. Clearly faster. And now, I can't smell real axis. I call it even. Thanks for watching. If you still don't fully understand why a hollow cylinder is faster than a massive one, try another video of mine where I'm showing this Majorette baton. If I do it like this, it's very slow, but when the weights go to the center, I can twist it much faster, easy.